Hai teman-teman, jumpa lagi bersama saya Didi Jacksono di atas gudang Masih dalam game Sherlock Holmes Chapter 1 Dan kali ini misteri baru dari fans berat kita, Fener Vogel Bukan Vogel namanya kalau kita tidak sampai di sebuah tempat pembunuhan Maksud dan tujuan Vogel mengundang kita ke sebuah pesta adalah untuk membantu dia mengungkap sebuah misteri pembunuhan di ruang tertutup kita sudah merekonstruksi kejadian dan mulai menginterogasi saksi. Namun belum usai investigasi, polisi datang untuk menggerebek mansion tersebut. Mari kita lanjutkan. What's going on? Aduh. Freeze, filth. You're under arrest. Wah, wow. <laughs> ada polisi. What? What the hell happened? Oh, kenapa dia ditahan? What? Oh, no. What happened here? Look at you. Committed a crime, and now I have to free you, kiss your hand, and apologize for the inconvenience. I did tell you that Mr. Vogel and I were innocent. I emphasized it in my statement. Your statement? Thanks to some bigwigs who work for the so-called good of the country by releasing fleas like you. Thank God we have Vogel in his letter. Once I get to that goldfish, I'll... Bigwig. Oh, my wretched brother Mycroft and his long nose. Mm. Wait, did you say Mycroft? Mycroft Holmes? Are you the youngest son of Violet Holmes, rest her soul? Hmm, you know my mother. You knew my mother? Not personally, no. Not exactly. I was working on the paperwork for that case. Would you happen to remember anything of the events? Well, I didn't make the inquiry, but I remember seeing some notes. Why? Hmm, perhaps we can negotiate. Perhaps we can negotiate? I could be quite useful. Huh. Got you hooked, right? You know what? Stark and the others think they're the smartest here, thanks to you. Let me get this straight. Are you listening to me, lad? I'm all ears. Take this case. Report to me only. To Constable Harvey Osbald. I'll leave everything I have on this table. Find the murderer. Be a real copper. Question the suspects. Make them sing. Give me something substantial. And if Mr. Vogel is not a suspect? If he's innocent, then you can take your favorite degenerate away from here. <laughs> if you slip or mess with the evidence, then trust me, your brother won't save you from my bludgeon. Meanwhile, I'll be checking the archive for you. If anybody asks, then you're a consulting detective. <laughs> Let's make a start then. <laughs> Partner. Ad. I'm glad we managed to get the scoop before the raid. Interesting, interesting. Jadi sepertinya pelakunya itu melaporkan ke polisi ada pembunuhan di situ dan ya tiba-tiba di situ ada Sherlock yang lagi menginvestigasi, terus ada Vogel dan ada Mr. Mancio, semuanya jadikan tersangka di situ. Menarik sih, menarik sekali. I can't go back to prison. Oke, mari kita cek. Ini adalah surat dari Mhm, mm mm -hmm. arrested suspect Mr. Vogel, Holmes, Mancio, Matista. Dan ada satu lagi si itu yang belum menangkap si siapa namanya? Sanchos hmm. Yang melapor si satu ya kayaknya Satu orang lagi si Major Domo itu Santos betul Pinchetti Witness
Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, good see. Back on track to solve the case. The writer of this ticket has permission to inspect all evidence on case. <laughs> Oke, okay, teman-teman, um, kita kita masih menyelesaikan case ini cuman di beda tempat aja yang sekarang ada di kantor polisi. <laughs> Tapi keuntungannya adalah berkat di kantor polisi ini semua saksi dan terdakwanya semua ditaruh di satu tempat jadi it's quite nice jadi kita nggak perlu pergi ke mana-mana lagi untuk mencari mereka alright the murder clean the self Pinchetti is a major domo ya yeah. Pinchetti is a suspect yep teman-teman saya tahu nih dia pasti ada tersangkanya cek lagi evidence ticket kita bisa mewawancarai beberapa orang hmm. Santos is suspect that makes him a perfect suspect he even appears to have been the first person to find the body Oke, okay. kita cek. Hmm, mana lagi nih? Oh, itu tempat buat nguping ya. Buat ini buat interogasi. Oke, okay. siapa yang sekarang akan kita panggil? Look, I found Verna. Hmm. Ini mah penjara yang ngeri banget nih. Hmm. Oke, okay, itu ada berapa orang? Verna, are you all right? Oh, yes, yes. Everything's fine. In fact, it's something of a family reunion. My brother spent quite some time in this place himself. You should not be here. I told the police everything I knew, but they refused to let you go. They require proof to free you. Ha! What did you expect? The mighty Sherlock Holmes swans in, tells the officers what to think, and the world obeys? Of course not. Anyway, I struck a deal with the constable, and I've got a free hand in the investigation. I find proof to solve the case for him. He obtains files about my mother's death for me. Well done. If one has the power or will and can act, then one must. I wonder, suppose you couldn't get the proof to your truth. Would you tell a lie to the guard that enabled my freedom, knowing my innocence? <laughs> would that not be just? Yeah, I wouldn't lie for you. There are lines I will not cross, Verna. I will do my best to secure your release, but with proof, not deception. Really? How many white lies have you told on this island? Why not for me? Why not another? That is absurd. I can resolve this without compromises. Do not give up hope. Okay. Uh, provide evidence. Hmm. Coba tanya Santos. I can't follow you here. Hmm. I don't think I can tell you anything about this. Hmm. I can't follow you here. Witness the position. I have learned who told the police about the crime. It was Santos Pinchetti. Do I know him? The major domo of the manor. He cleans up after you. Well, then he does his job perfectly. All but invisible. I couldn't tell you the first thing about him. <laughs> Jadi dia nggak tahu sama sekali apapun tentang si Santos. Oke, okay, um, berikutnya. Hmm. Ini 
ada siapa-siapa Oke okay. Oh, ini si Matista. I'm Sherlock Holmes. I'm helping Constable Oswald. You are Matista, Fabio's friend. This body, yes, it's Matista. But it's a mere shell that will die someday. Just like Fabio. Hmm, condolences. Please accept my condolences for your friend. Thank you. I'm just here to ask questions and find Fabio's murderer. It will not bring Fabio back. Hmm. Coba kita melihat dulu. Oke. Okay. Ada sebuah tato di dadanya. Primitive occult tato. Oh, dia yang bikin sendiri. Dan itu tinta. Dan dia sepertinya dicek dicekik ya obtain recently dan ada sedikit darah di situ hmm, dia pakai make up oh, what's this bersama bunuh diri self inflicted scars bitten nails nervous oh dia gugup hmm, kenapa dia gugup dan dia juga salah satu budak oke okay. Dan apa ini? Ya, ini bekas rantai. Dissociated from her body. Punishes herself for the past. Oke, okay, um, harus baca pelan-pelan dulu. Jadi sebelah kiri dia uh, kukunya suka digigit. Um, dia menadakan nervous atau gugup. Blood filled bruise. Jadi ada sedikit beng apa? memar di lehernya itu dan itu baru terjadi shackle scars itu tempat apa luka-luka tempat naro borgol ya sepertinya burn mark tapi itu lama e, burn mark itu bekas terbakar oh ini bekas untuk apa mark of slave jadi itu bekas e, tanda untuk hmm, perbudakan Old and healing cuts. Jadi dia suka melukai diri sendiri. Primitif okultato yang dia gambar sendiri. Matista is the performer and Fabius partner. Had a difficult life. She was branded and enslaved while still a child. While enslaved, she met Fabio. Jadi selama di perbudakan dia bertemu dengan Fabio, punya similar uh, brand yang sama. Hmm, she connects to her body's traumatic experience. She has genuine interest in mysticism. Ia punya ketertarikan kepada hal-hal mistis. Karena terlihat dari tato yang dia gunakan. Matista tries to get over her past. And the life of performance seems to be an opportunity. Hmm. Coba kita lihat yang satu lagi. Matista adalah performer dan Fabio's partner. Has a difficult life. Branded and slave. Ya, yeah, dia juga nih. She continues to be haunted by this traumatic experience. Seems to be pragmatic about her body after years of abuse. Jadi sepertinya dia sangat pragmatis terhadap tubuhnya dia karena bertahun-tahun di abuse sebagai budak. Dia menjual dirinya kepada tamu-tamunya. Whatever they want to her. She never to step over the line. Also Matista marks her body with ink. Oh, okay, tidak ini sih. Ini harusnya, ya. Hmm. Fabio and yourself were slaves, am I correct? You have a similar branding on your body. Yes. It was a long time ago. I couldn't help but also notice fresh cuts upon your forearms. The cuts helped me to forget my past, to cover the old wounds and hide them. How did you escape? Something happened. One night the master fell down the stairs. I made him fall. 
and he died. We ran away that day. We managed to get on a ship and traveled here, to Gordona. Fabio and I started a new life here. It was very hard at first, but it became better with time. Until today. Hmm. But he did get those bruises. The bruises on your neck are not self-inflicted. Someone else made them. Some guests can't contain themselves. They even bite. Sometimes. Okay. You see, Matista. Matista dilukai oleh salah seorang tamu. Okay. Vincetti is Majadomo. Matista has fresh bruise. Mm. Okay. Matista has bruise by the guest. Fabio bruise Matista. Hmm. Mungkin begitu. Menarik sekali. Ada beberapa kemungkinan dia bisa jadi yang bertarung dengan si Fabio di sini. Dan ini adalah si Santos. Good day, Mr. Manchios. Oh, Mr. Manchios. I am Constable Oswald's partner in this investigation. Be quick and gentle. Some of your colleagues are untrained boars. I don't mind meeting young officers. The new blood here. Oh, if okay. you cooperate suka... in finding Fabio's murderer, there will be no need to meet suka, him apa? Cowok -cowok muda. Venice, friend? You're the policeman. What a disappointment. Only an undercover agent can scour a ditch full of deviants. I am a consulting detective. Although I'm capable of replacing the entire department through my consultations. Sharp tongued, I like it. May I presume this tongue will get us out of this trouble? I would be so indebted and glad to repay you. Nothing's changed. I'm looking for the murderer. That's the only way to get us out of trouble. But it shouldn't take much time, correct? We're all busy after all. I need to examine you first. Okay, let's check Mali, Mr. Mangios. Dia pakai make up. Mm -hmm. Oh, ada sedikit um, apa ya merah-merah karena dia pakai ini apa pewarna rambut. Mungkin pewarna rambut di masa dulu tuh bikin iritasi. Hmm. Wash hands in a hurry. Woo, oke. Okay. Dia terburu-buru men mencuci tangan. Interesting. Lavishly expensive. Wah, sangat aneh. Well, soap under fingernails. Hide his age. Stickler for cleanliness. Coba kita cek sebentar. Kurt Manchios is extremely rich. Dia sangat kaya. Eccentric. Uh, organizer of the party. He spends his life in the um, company of similar overprivileged people. His being sociable in this manner has made him cautious regarding his health. He used chemical and hair dye to clean and improve himself to the extent that it... Oke, okay, jadi dia menggunakan, ya itu tadi, pewarna rambut, uh, dia sangat concern terhadap kesehatannya. Jadi ingin terlihat lebih sehat, makanya dia memakai, uh, ya, yeah, pewarna rambut itu ya. Hmm, he used to hide his true age from the younger participant of his party. With aging to the point here, he used makeup and hair dye to look longer. He's being sociable as made him cautious regarding his health, bukan? Dia sih, dia pengen terlihat lebih muda kayaknya. Ini aja. You are a little over the top with your use of makeup, Mr. Manchios. Is it so difficult for you to acknowledge your age? Well, Sherlock, that's easy for you to say to an old man when you look as though you are barely 15. <laughs> But still, it shouldn't be an issue for someone of your status. For people of my age, it isn't an issue, no. But the younger ones can be so afraid of wrinkles and grey flecks. I have to adapt. Such a methodical man who cares for his body but misses the soap under his fingernails. 
Are you so impatient, or perhaps even impulsive? I wouldn't call myself that. Silly little details. If I missed it, it wasn't important. Or rather, it was less important than who or what I was focused on. Mm-hmm. I would like to know more about Ifan. Mr. Vogel told me a little about your Parsis, but I would like to know more directly from you. I'm all yours, Sherlock. You have me arrested and locked here with you alone. Okay. I'd like to know who you usually invite to your parties. Free minds who are able to leave reality for an evening, who can taste forbidden fruit without prejudice. There is nothing that quite spices up life like these parties, assuming one is old enough and has worked many years for the good of one's country. Oh, all true laborers, I see. Okay, well, can I come Why did you invite Vogel? Mr. Vogel as your special guest? He's a pretty fellow. He's capable of surprising the public. He has a talent for saying words that no one else would wish to either say or hear. I suppose I can't argue with that. He is a free addition to the eccentricity of the party, which is fine by me, as long as it enhances my party. Hmm. What was Fabio like? His personality, his habits? Anything you can tell me? He was the brightest star of my parties. Young, magnetic, and full of energy. I don't even want to mention his beauty. Otherwise, I'll be sobbing. An expensive champion, I imagine. His performances were flawless. He deserved his payment. Do you think he was murdered because of money? Possibly. What about the other guests? Were they used to opening their wallets as well? I wouldn't restrict my guests from anything. I'm sure Fabio received a few coins from others for his services. Okay. I get a check. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Eccentric and controlling. Mm. That's not something I know much about. Okay. You'd better ask someone else. Mm. I've no idea about that. You'd better ask someone else. Eh? You'd better ask someone else. Uh, keys to interrogation room? No. Murder's key? You'd better ask someone else. Mm. I've no idea about that. Smoking lounge. You'd better ask someone else. Bingung. Apa yang lagi bisa kita say? Santos. That's not something I know much about. Hmm. Evidence ticket, witness deposition. Do you have any idea who tipped off the police to raid your mansion, Mr. Manchios? Of course. It was you. I could even say you Sherlocked me in here. <laughs> A good guess, but the wrong one. The fellow who did that was Mr. Pinchetti, your major domo. What? Santos? But how could he even know? If he's not the murderer himself, the ungrateful swine. He has dared to Dia besmirch bohong, hey, my tadi. reputation. Not a very eloquent choice of words. What should I call him then, since he's a snitch? Make him talk, Sherlock. I'm quite certain he knows more about the murder than he has told the police. Okay, okay, Santos, yeah. Hmm. Police investigation. You'd better ask someone else. Okay, Nene. You bought an expensive pair of cufflinks for Fabio. Were they his price? Or were they a tip or an exclusive show? It was pure business. Fabio escorted me a few times. I was merely showing my gratitude. This pair cost a small fortune. You must be extremely grateful then. Tell me more. You've thrust a knife in an exposed nerve, Sherlock. Yes, he was my protege and my beacon also. With my experience and his beauty, we could have achieved anything. I had faith in him. I would have made him. Hmm. 
Okay, Kurt Mancius had feelings for Fabio. Okay, and tidak tahu juga. Jadi Mancius set himself up for debauchery. Okay, mungkin dia juga suspeknya. The murder is atau Mancius watch himself after the murder. Okay. Sekali lagi, Pinchetti is major domo. Oke, okay, um, halflings, berapa evidence? Um, hmm. Dah, tinggal satu lagi. Kita akan menginterogasi si Santos. Mana ya si Santos berada? This area is restricted. Oke. Okay. Oh, mana si Santos? tiba-tiba menghilang jadi satu orang hmm mana dia Santos 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 is a suspect si John nah, mana si Santos enggak hmm, 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 hmm. ada Mancios terus ini dia ini penjaranya kita tadi help me please Nothing I can tell you, sir. But others might know more. Okay. Dah ada apa? This area is restricted. Italian Butler blind in life eye sympathetic. Kalian lihat ciri-ciri Santos di sini ada enggak? While the witness left the station and went home. Okay, sepertinya kita harus Luar dari sini. Did you hear Basilio Capello is? Hmm. Capello Company. What? Vendetta. Dead in the safe. Claims innocence. Wife is devastated. Beda kasus kayaknya. Did you hear Basilio Capello is in jail? Mhm. Press scandal. Claims innocence. Vendetta. Did you hear Basilio? Hmm. 
Vendetta, dead in the safe. Wife is devastated. Claims innocent. Amar Kupel Company. Oh, Let's pretend to be cops, eh? We can just stand around and look confused. Mungkin kita bisa minta dia untuk so much work, so little time. bisa keluar hmm. dia harusnya tinggal di oke okay. hmm. kita perlu cari tahu alamatnya dia di mana hmm. provide evidence imprison for girl Goldman Chios have you considered Mr Santos Pinchetti as a suspect the snitch Have you seen him? I mean, my breath could knock him down. What's so special about him? As a major domo, he has keys that open all the rooms, including the one to the crime scene. Could have testified only to circumvent suspicion, don't you think? We need to question him. Right. I'll send our men to fetch him. Stay here. Okay. Pass. They brought him in, Mr. Holmes. Here's the key to interrogation room number seven. Mr. Pinchetti didn't even resist, our men said. Thank you. Okay. Ah, uh, dia ada di sebelah sini. Room number seven. Bukan. Tiga, empat, lima, enam, tujuh di sini. Oke, okay, ini dia. Um, apa aja yang ada? Itu ada kuncinya dia. I recognize the key from the altar room among these. Uh -huh. Santos, my hopeful slug. The major of the Manchester received a jar of mustache wax and salt claim that he might always remember his scary employer, Kurt Manchios. <laughs> Oke, okay. udah lagi ya? Tidak ada sih sepertinya. Mr. Pinchetti, a pleasure to meet you. I'm Sherlock Holmes. I'm helping Constable Oswald. I've already told him everything I know. I'm only a witness. Sir. Everything's in my report. And I've read it. You forgot to mention that you hold the keys to the room where Fabio was found. I need only to find if the crime was intentional. But I need to return to my duties. I doubt the house will fall without you, Mr. Pinchetti. Just be still for a few seconds. Mm -hmm. Okay. Apa ini? Wow, ada bekas apa itu? Oh, alergi. Alergi. Repaired multiple times. Hmm. Bekas sobek, eh? Hmm. Colored more than once. Jadi bajunya tuh sering kali di bleaching terus di warnai ulang kali ya. Wah, step in blood. Hmm. Hmm, color more than once allergy repaired uh, jadi dia miskin. Head servant despite being employed at the highest position, he appears to be poor. Despite having enough money, Mr. Pinchetti spends as little of it as possible cheap make up. Mm -hmm. As that is suit on several occasion. Oke, okay. jadi dia sebenarnya dia sebenarnya kepala pelayan tapi hidupnya miskin sekali. Mm -hmm. Ya, yeah, ya, yeah. ini kayaknya dia. Is your greedy nature responsible for the lack of taste and attention to your appearance? The cheap makeup, shabby and dyed clothes. 
How do you explain those, Major Domo? The means to practice my profession are limited. I'm sorry you noticed it, sir. The party's overshadowed your state. You are lucky Kurt Manchios's attention was concentrated elsewhere. In a decent household, you would be asked to leave for far less. Yes, his attention was undoubtedly concentrated on something other than my appearance. But one detail stands out on your dirty rags and shoes. The drops of blood. Oh, that. I don't know anything about it. Mm-hmm. Did you know Fabio? Uh, not personally. He was a frequent guest, and cleaning the mess after his performances was tedious. Mr. Manchios always had a role for him, and mainly the leading one. The parties were always um, Fabio-centric. And Matista? Was she as popular as her partner? Don't tell her I said this, but I do not think so. Mr. Manchios hired her only because Fabio refused to work without her. Mr. Manchios used to see her as a worker. She was tasked with entertaining the guests, unlike Fabio, who could pick and choose. Hmm. Okay. Jadi si Matistanya tu hanyalah sebagai pemuas supaya si Fabio yang mau kerja aja kali ya. Hmm. He appears to be poor. The head servant. Ki murder. I know nothing about this. Hmm. Mr. Manchios says that you begged him to be included in the heritage. Isn't that a little extreme, even for a major domo? He's not only my employer, he's my uncle. And I'm his next of kin. The only one. Mr. Oh. Manchios flatly refuses to pay a family member. All I have to do is repay his so-called love. Cleaning up the filth after perverts and decadence. He's imprisoned me. The best I can hope for is a new broom. That's why I wanted to have my part of the inheritance. Is it that bad? You have a roof above your head, a salary, and the status of a major domo. For God's sake. I'm forced to die and stitch my threadbare clothes, and the holes in my shoes are painful. I'm ashamed every time a guest looks at me closely. Why do you think your uncle treats you this way? My mother, my uncle's sister, had me illegitimately. He died, and I was given the surname of one of the maids. But you are entitled to some of the money that belongs to your family. He thinks not. I was not responsible for my mother's death. I work hard, and he pays me nothing. I feed on the leftovers. While he wastes our estate's property on decadent parties, he paid Fabio handsomely and showered him with expensive gifts for their disgusting relationship. Hmm, okay. Jadi ada beberapa main palace. Wuh, banyak banget. <laughs> banyak clue-nya nih. Oke, okay, uh, jadi ada darah di Pinchetis. Uh, Mancius mock Pinchetis. Kurt Mancius gave Fabio expensive gift. Hmm. Yep, nih kayak bisa gini. Oh. Mancius mock Pinchetis. Ada, nope. Okay. Pinchetti accidentally step in blood. Mm hmm. Kali lagi. Hmm. Blood on Pinchetti's atau dia adalah pelakunya. Okay. Sato Pinchetti's effort in vain. Pinchetti has been forced to work for Kurt Manchus in his desperate hope of obtaining heritage. Yeah, si Santos itu selalu bekerja, ya, yeah, bekerja di Manchus untuk dengan harapan untuk mendapatkan warisan. Ya, tapi sampai sekarang belum. Mm -hmm. Coba kita lihat deduction dulu. Fabio Ritual was a cover. Matista was bruised by the gas. Hmm, oke. 
Oke. Okay. Seperti ada yang missing di sini. Kita mesti ngobrol sebentar ke Mancios lagi. Ya, ini dia. Um, You'd better ask someone else. You'd better ask someone else. India. I've read the letter about your will. A harsh method of ridiculing Santos. I doubt he will use mustache wax when he wears no mustache to begin with. Where did you get it? Is the slug here? Tell him. I shouldn't have to provide for him. He's a grown man who shouldn't sit on his uncle's neck. He conceives himself as my only heir. And who is he to you? He's a leech on my aging body. He has only added problems to my life since the death of his mother. I fail to see why you made him your major domo. He needed to know his place, so I taught him. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Ada tambahan lagi nggak? Nope. Ada lagi yang lain. Evidence ticket. Oh, oke. Okay. Uh, kita lihat di evidence room. Evidence room. Ya, 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 ya. Let's check evidence room. Good night. Your ticket, please, if you want me to help you. Okay. Evidence, ticket, evidence, ticket. So I'd like to check the evidence from this case. And who are you? Oswald sent me. I'm a consulting detective. His partner, then? Let me see. Oh, a ritual murder. What a bunch of degenerates. Wait a second. I'll bring it to the table. Okay, let's see. Okay, ada banyak sini. Oh, ada kunci. All the keys of the mansion on one golden ring. A heavily perfumed handkerchief with the initials KM in the corner. Oh, okay. Ini punya Mancios. Cincinnya gede banget. It's a miracle this ruby hasn't tempted anyone. Mm -hmm. Fabio. Is your mind unsound? Blah, blah, blah. Letter was found in Vogel's evidence box. You can control your bitterness not around me anyway. Hmm. Not the time for privacy. <laughs> See Vogel. An emergency kit for boredom. Oh, ini asetnya dia. Werner's personal sketchbook. Dan ini adalah punya si Matista. Her key to the altar room. Hmm. A handcrafted charm that contains hair and nail clippings. Uh, okay. The power of love. That's not for bedtime reading. <laughs> This ex libris belongs to Mancio's library. Hmm. Okay. The book describes a ritual similar to the one performed in the altar room. Thank you, officer. Okay. Wah, sekarang boleh nambah lagi. The power of love and. Eh, ntar kita mesti interogasi dulu. Wah, gila makin banyak nih kasusnya. A letter from Fabio dan the power of love. Ini dari Vogels. Hmm, kita tanya si Vogel deh. Ada satu main palace yang bisa diambil. Letter may have been for Mancius. 
It may have been addressed to Park Manchias. Oh, okay. Plot and Mendrek. Letter from Fabio, dari Fabio ke Manchias ya. Manchas gifting strange and expensive gift to Fabio. In this letter, Fabio mentioned gifts he would keep due to someone's temperament. This angry letter. Oh, dia marah pada Fabio. Power of love, blood and mandrake. Hmm, jadi kita bisa naik ke ini dulu tentang blood and mandrake. This book, The Power of Love, Blood and Mandrake. What do you hope to achieve? To learn more about the invisible strengths that govern us. Occultism is real. The master who fell that night when Fabio and I escaped, I made him fall. I cast a spell on him and it worked. Or was it a coincidence? <laughs> the universe is really so lazy. If you say so. Okay. Terus ada satu lagi letter dari could Fabio. Fabio have written this letter to Kurt Manchios? Oh. That could be. I never thought Mr. Manchios could make Fabio that angry though. What do you mean? Well, Fabio wanted to disassociate from Mr. Manchios. Oh, dia pengen pergi dari Manchios. Clients who are in love are both a blessing and a curse. But Fabio was here tonight. Money. In our line of work, we can't afford to turn down clients who pay as well as Kurt Manchios. Was Fabio afraid of Mr. Manchios? Not at all. The old toad wouldn't dare to do more than sweet talk and touching. Talk can be forgotten, and touching washed away. Hmm. Do you practice occult rituals? For protection? For fortune? To wash away the ugliness of the world? Sometimes to survive. I have the gift, and I'm learning to use it better. Did you use your gift on Fabio? I only used white magic. Love charms lately. Fabio became so distant. I just wanted him to be with me. But I suppose I'm not as skilled as I thought. Hmm. Oh, there you go. Ma... Menggunakan si Fabio, naik sekali. Okay, ada satu lagi letter from Fabio ni kita bisa ngobrolin. Ngobrolin dengan siapa kah? Matista trusted in the occult over Fabio, power of love. Terus Fabio was burning bridges with Manchus. Fabio broke Kurt Manchus heart. Coba kita tanya sebentar si. Hmm, this is the letter from Fabio. I have reason to believe that the intended recipient of the incriminating letter may have been Kurt Manchus. Well, that makes sense. Too bad I can't remember how I came to possess it. Though I did spend quite some time with Mr. Manchios during the party. Unfortunately, even with an answer, that may still not be enough to clear you with the police. But fear not, I will persevere. I hope your attempt to put things straight will make up for you being on a bender. Touche. <laughs> okay, um, letter from Fabio, masih. Power of Love, Blood and Mandrake. Ini belum juga. <laughs> Bisa kita tanya? Oh, enggak. Dia udah habis. Sepertinya si Santos ini benar-benar tidak bersalah. Sama ini. There is undeniable evidence that you were the original recipient of this letter. What are you talking about? Is it addressed to me? Your protege wanted a fresh start. It seems this is sufficient to charge you. Me? Hurt my star? Are you insane that you would accuse me of such a thing? He did not consider himself as yours. Since you deny everything, let's move on. Do you have any idea as to how the letter could have ended up in Mr. Vogel's pocket? You were the detective. Perhaps he took it from Fabio. Werner was a little high. Okay. Do you recognize this book? Could Matista have borrowed it from your library? She didn't ask me. How ungrateful. The things described in the book were inspiration for the rituals you performed? Do you really believe that blood, symbols, and incantations can resurrect the dead? 
They are just eerie tales with a mix of occultism and voodoo. My rituals are a stage to show some of the forbidden pleasures. <laughs> Jadi dia pakai ritual itu untuk sebagai apa teater aksi teatrikal. Hmm, either Vogel or Mancius is lying. Hmm. Mancius planted the letter. Oke. Okay. <laughs> Santos Vincesti is the murderer. Waduh. Oh, It was cold revenge. Oke. Okay. Yang jelas enggak? Eh uh, Mancius was himself after the murder said himself. Harusnya Mancius sih. Hmm. Accidentally step in the blood, Vogel took the letter, Mancius planted the letter. Jadi dia sengaja naruh suratnya di Vogel Crime of Passion jadi kelihatan sih atau kita bisa membunuh atau kita bisa membuat ini sebagai aksi dari si apa itu namanya si Matista oh kita Matista is the mother a crush soul less ya jelas sih yang jelas ini Mancio sih gue yakin sih si Mancio seperti yang bikin karena nggak mungkin si uh, Manchester was himself the murder Fabio Bruce by guess Ritual was a cover ya yeah. jadi ritualnya itu hanyalah sebuah aksi teatrikal saja dan karena si Fabio itu menghancurkan hati Manchios <laughs> dia langsung dibunuh dan kemudian dia menaruhkan surat angry letternya si Fabi apa si Mancios itu ditaruh ke ke barang buktinya si Forgel. Jadi dia yang naruh surat itu di situ. Gua rasa ya crime of passions. Jadi ikut Mancios heartbroken, panik dan masih ada sisa-sisa sabunnya. Jadi itu sih sebenarnya yang bikin dia jadi main suspect, teman-teman. Dan a prison sentence should be enough for his harsher punishment is the death of his love. Wah. Jadi sih seperti itu. Apakah dia sexual predator? Kurt Manchus killed Fabio in cold blood. He stated the crime as a ritual to blame Matista. Jadi he planted the letter in Vogel's pocket to avoid suspicion. Manchus has no consideration for the life of others and deserves to be hanged. <laughs> Oke okay, teman-teman, apakah kita mau menggantung si Mancius atau hmm, did not mean to kill Fabio? Oke, okay, jadi tergantung nih. Kenapa dia? Um, coba sebentar, kita lihat dulu. Back. Hmm. Suratnya adalah untuk Mancius, was himself, add the key to the altar room. Kalau misalkan kita lihat kembali, uh -huh. eh kita masih ada letter from Fabio ini kita bisa kasih ke siapa lagi ya? Hmm. Masih bisa, oh enggak. Leave, leave some data. Let's continue our chat a little later. Okay. Kita masih bisa tanya ke ini lagi. The air here is rather refreshing. I'd even recommend that some of my friends visit the place. Hmm. Hmm. Leave to look. Thank you for your cooperation, Mr. Pinchetti. We'll continue later. Okay. Letter from Fabio ini masih di taruh di mana kali ya? Hmm. Hmm. I appreciate your cooperation, Mister. Tuh misterius adresi. Gue bingung sih ini. Kita taruh di mana ya? Hmm. Kita tanya ke siapa ya? Mungkin kita tanya ke sini. 
Provide evidence. Mm -hmm. This letter proves nothing. Fabio wrote it to Mr. Mancios. It's time to free Mr. Vogel. Do you really think I'm that naive? I need proof, not words from his friend. Very well. Mr. Pinchetti told me that Mr. Mancios was lavishing Fabio with expensive and eccentric gifts. The letter mentions rich rewards and attempts to buy Fabio with them. It was written to Mr. Mancios. Who else was showering Fabio with luxuries to buy him? It doesn't fit Mr. Vogel's character. Look here. We had a deal. Give me the murderer and then take your friend with you. I won't budge otherwise. Okay. Well, fine, but you're just wasting time. Okay. Jadi ya, semua case, semua evidence-nya sudah kita present. Jadi kita nggak perlu ini lagi. Ya, gua rasa sih ya sexual predator. Kurt Manchus kill Fabio in cold blood. Hmm. Dah sih, gua rasa crime of passions karena dia heartbroken. Wahahaha. Mari kita present. The murder of Fabio did not have a ritual purpose, Mr. Mancios. It was staged by a man who wished to distract the investigation. That <coughs> might be true. That poor girl, Matista, wouldn't dare to kill the only man who cared for her. So, Santos. Mr. Pinchetti snatched at the chance to solve his problems. Ungrateful little scum. Will he be executed? For what for? He informed the police as to the crime, that was all. He couldn't stage the ritual, but he found the body, I believe. I can't believe it. Why did Werner do it? <laughs> Mr. Vogel, he had no reason, and he won't be a scapegoat as you plan. You put Fabio's letter in his pocket when he was intoxicated, didn't you? You can't be serious. Yes. Some love wasn't mutual. Some fingernails. We can very often deduce someone's life by their shoes or their fingernails. You are a meticulous person, but this murder was fairly traumatic and filthy. After you stabbed Fabio, you were covered in blood. You panicked and neglected to rinse the soap from under your fingernails. The devil is in the details, Mr. Manchus. Nonsense. I missed it simply because of the busy schedule of the party. Of course, a staged murder was certainly not planned. <laughs> Love wasn't mutual. You staged the little. You staged the murder as a satanic ritual. It was easy for you since you were the one who wrote the scenarios for the parties. It was your way of avoiding suspicion. A respectable man in his 60s, early 60s, who hosts the cream of Cordona society, cannot possibly be a murderer. But the guests who behave like animals in his mansion, of course, one of them could have killed Fabio. I did oversee a few of the rituals, but I did not stage Fabio's death. Hmm. Love wasn't me. You're at the twilight of your life. You have no partner. You have no children. You had feelings, however, for one man. That was Fabio. You loved him. That is, you wished to own him with money and gifts. But he was also a free mind, was he not? He turned his back on you. Quite unjust. Love, so cruel and painful. And Fabio, with his words and deeds, made you feel the more wretched. So you killed him. You must surely perceive that my sensitive nature wouldn't allow me to hurt anyone. It was a crime of passion. Fabio played with your feelings. That was painful to realize. You spent so much time and effort to be with Fabio, but he didn't respond in the way that you would have liked. You wanted to be loved, but Fabio shattered your dreams. In the smoking lounge, he teased and mocked you. He wanted you to suffer by offering himself to others. The deception was unbearable. You were passionate, and so you struck him. Once you understood your mistake, it was too late. You were afraid, so you staged the ritual. With such a story, you might be sentenced to a few years. It might clean your conscience, and soon the case will be forgotten. No. No. This is my decision. I'll talk to Constable Oswald to see what I can do. Yes. Uh -huh. Let's give it Da, 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 da. Ya sudah selesai teman-teman Yang perlu kita lakukan hanyalah 
Laporkan saja ke Constable Oswald. No fool like an old fool. Kurt Manchios did it. A young boy played with the heart of an old man. The latter couldn't handle it. The evidence I obtained clearly shows that the quarrel was not intended to end badly. It was an accident. Showing pity towards your own kind, Holmes. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> All I'm saying is that prison won't take much away from an old and crushed man. Fine. A big name like that will still give me a promotion. As for my part, not everything was in place. Perhaps some documents were transferred somewhere else, but I couldn't find a trace of them. Then I remembered the discarded document drawers where we put the lost papers or the badly labeled ones, including the crime scene report of Violet Holmes's case. Ooh. Everything I've found is on the desk here. Take it. Your persistence has saved me. Yeah, well, we had a deal after all. Your friend is free then. You can leave. Good luck, Constable. Hmm. Sacrificial lamb dan kita sudah mendapatkan barang bukti dari report number season 43 main suspect Octo Richter. Oke, okay. menarik sekali. Ini sepertinya kebun belakang ya. The garden. There's a garden behind our manor. How could I forget? That's where it all happened, where it all went wrong. Oh, Sherry, okay. it looks like you've almost found what you wanted. Yes, we almost found what we wanted. Oke, okay, teman-teman. Ya, yeah, ini adalah sebuah crime of passion ini dan kita berhasil menyelesaikan kasus ini di mana si uh, Machios itu ternyata membunuh tak sengaja membunuh si Fabio dan kemudian membuatkan ritual itu sebagai kamuflase saja dan menyalahkan beberapa pihak yaitu Matista dan Forgel dan si Santos semuanya disalahkan. <laughs> Oke. Okay. Dan ya yeah, ternyata menarik banget ya Panjang banget uh, case-nya Dan ya yeah, ini kayaknya bakal menjadi semakin menarik Dan kita akan masuk lagi ke dalam mansion-nya si Holmes Untuk membuka garden bagian belakang Oke okay. Itu dulu dari saya, Didi Wicaksono Have a good one Bye-bye